Hey, boss. They came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all locked in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. You catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, hello, Seal Universe Seal 99 plays here, and welcome to episode 7 of Mafia. In the last episode, we started 1933, where we are playing now the mission or murder. And uh, we've just, and yeah, he, Frank's the rat or a mole. It's crazy. Hey, Vinny. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. Something special for you, if you want it. Frank sees a Lapara in a low. You know where he's work. You gotta get those books back from the bank and you get to some. You got that? Very all right then. Heading over to Biffy's place. Anyway, well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we started with 1933, where we just, and of course, the intermission for the mission, the intermission, and yeah, uh, Frank's the mole. That's kind of shocking. I wonder how he's going to explain. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert V. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster. Like a glove. Right, let's go see Biffy. My guy's passed out. He's probably drunk. 
Yo, Biffy. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something the Don might want to know. Yeah, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. What about my 40 bucks? Always a pleasure, Tommy. Bye, Biff. Anyway, so yeah, Frank betrayed us. Can't believe this. It's crazy. I like Frank too. He's one of my, he's a neat character. Alright, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys over the black cat unless I can just can turn that off because I don't really like listening to the radio all that much. Tommy might, but I don't. And I am Tommy in the scenario. Where is this place anyway? Okay, it's just right there. Some little horn. <laughs> yeah, so this should be an interesting mission. This is probably gonna be a giant shootout, so expect me to probably have to see see my few fails as I'm going to probably restart and try to do the mission properly. I follow traffic laws to a degree. And by that I mean I don't follow traffic laws at all. Out of the way, cabby! Little Tony. Everything okay, Tom? No, Tony. Nah, no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That arm that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Damn. All right, then. So, yeah, Frank got... Uh... All right, where the... How was this place? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a shootout place for sure. Alright then. So, you guys, so we will, or I will see you guys over, see the universe at the old safe house. So, see you then. Ladies and gentlemen, will be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of Wrong way. All right, here we are. Looks like the place. I got love. Damn, Frank. Take me to those account books, Frank. 
please do. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach Alrighty, Swift. so now we are tailing him. I'm guessing this is going to probably take a while, so I'll probably be skipping a lot of this, because I really don't have too much to say. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes so, yeah. and Lost Heaven Korea. Both of these, some speed uh, on that. Shit. Oh my goodness. They're digging you in the airport, Frank. He was convinced he had it his point. It might be, Tommy. It just might be. Now the flicker of emotion on his face. Jesus Christ, where's this airport? Why the hell is it like 50 miles out of town? Never would want to visit Lost Heaven. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. <laughs> it crashes. Oh my god, this is a lot of cops. This is like Hitman, but twelve times worse. What's going on? There would be FBI with some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane look like gangsters. How long do they die? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. I don't know. A lot of these men don't look like cops. Would you watch it, please? Employees only. Kept the lid on this so get it done quietly, go home. <laughs> I definitely gonna need a rifle. Private air quiet. Oh, okay. Hangar five. Morello has a good one. We will show his face. For a rat like you, nah. Get in the car. Jesus. Well, uh, got out of there pretty quick without having a giant shootout. But, uh,. Okay, thank God. <sighs> I got a rifle in my hand. Like, this is the goddamn World War II. And basically walk it in here. Like, it's going to be. Like, Jesus. I don't know how much longer I can stealth this. But I do got a rifle. I got Molotovs. And I have a shotgun that's good for close range. And now I have grenades.
Go to bed. I'm just trying, I am trying to stop this as best I can. I'm just gonna say that right now. I am not gonna try and get into a giant gun fight, especially since we're here. I am this close to just take my shot. Oh my god. This guy turns. Holy shit. <laughs> Haven't caught me yet. Hangar five. Didn't even need the rifle. Holy shit. Hey, Frank. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. It's okay. Anything you want me to tell him? Sorry. Why I wish you were shaking that badly, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. No, boy. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. Damn, you man, the book's over yet. I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. Mm -hmm. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. <laughs> Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, march. I Paris. killed. Get aboard. Frank, you coming with us? Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank, get on the plane, march. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Damn, Frank. You were there begging for lies, huh? Paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Well, it wasn't the dawn, it was me! Tom. That's going to be a mistake. Should not have let Frank go.
Oh, that's cool. I don't have to fight. <laughs> I don't. I don't have to fight my way out. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't even need to drive here. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Thank you. No security checks. Man, third. Hey, huh? uh -huh. Yeah, you could say that. Damn, you actually are like. Wow, man, banks. Been out of trouble, I hope. Sure, we'll go with that. My God, they have like. Access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please follow me. Thanks, bank man. It's pretty baller. I got it out. Thanks, Frank. What a what a guy. Totally not a rat that I was gonna put two slugs into or meant to. That's gonna be a mistake. That's gonna bite Tommy in the ass. I already can tell. Sweet. Oh. I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Jesus. Am I burning down the safe house? No one's in that box, though. This is gonna bite Tommy in the ass in the long run. I already can. S I have an. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Oh, is that Morello? Guessing that's Morello. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects. That's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Sergio, I'm guessing that's his, I'm guessing that's his concierge. Well, or Meta, or me, or Murda, or Murda, I think that's what it's called, or Murda. Well, that mission is complete, and I am trying to die down these episodes a tad bit. So, this will probably be the end of episode 7, I know it's only one mission, but again, it's a very long mission, but a lot of cutscenes. So I apologize if you guys want longer content, but eh. I'm also trying to milk this series for every episode I can, so that's another thing. Who said that? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have an itching feeling that's, that Frank's, that him not killing Frank is going to bite him in the ass at the end, because mobs, mobs know. They know everything, especially about their own. But, I digress. Anyway, this, of course, has been Seal 99 Plays. Hope you guys enjoyed this mission in Mafia that I didn't turn into a giant firefight, so that's very nice. And I will see you all for the next episode here. And with that, this will be Seal 99 Plays signing out.